If you're under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. Please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey, and I'm here to share with you the May installment of the Crack the Vault collaboration with Poet Spice. There are several of us who come on YouTube every third Friday of the month for 2024 and share projects that we have made with items we have had at least six months and haven't used in six months or have never used and had for at least six months. So I have the description or I have the link to the other channels um, below in the description box. So let me show you what I have used this month. First of all, I pulled out some really, really oldies. Um, some flowers from Michael's, these roll flowers. And I still have tons of these in different colors. So I used one of those. And this was a Michael's dollar bin find from 2017. So I used three of those. These are really old um, by Kaiser Craft, and I got these, whoa, when I, very, I first started crafting. They were in a grab bag or either Peachy Cheap, no, I think that's what it was. Peachy Cheap had a deal where you got like a whole variety of these, so I had this color that matches what I'm doing, so I pulled those out and used those. This is an old dollar store butterfly set. And I've had this and have, I mean, I've never used it. Had to throw some of the spellbinders up here. And please forgive, this is the sun shining through the blinds. So sorry about that. But um, I had to throw some of the spellbinders in here on my quest and this weekend is the Weekender virtual event with Spellbinder starting tonight. So I'm excited to participate in that. Although I haven't done any of the homework yet. But usually when I have those virtual events, I just watch and then I go back. Or either I prep one or two cards, one card a day and do it that way. So I think this afternoon I'm going to prep at least the cards, do the homework for one for each day. Anyway, sidebar, but I use this pop-up die-cut phone sheets. This is just the plain phone, not the glitter. Then I whipped out this Kingston craft paper, and I've had this at least a year. It just took the paper off, the took it out of the bag. Um, we get this from HSN, um, Beth Kingston, who is also the Diamond Press representative started her own line of crafting products and she does a great job with this um paper it's 12 by 12 and it's heavyweight and so the thing i like about it is it's double-sided but as you can see here's one side but it's the same pattern in a smaller version and all of her papers are like that so that if you're a card maker, you can have the smaller scale. You are a scrapbooker, you can have the bigger scale. So, used a sheet, a uh, couple sheets out of there. Then I was looking for something else, and I ran across these dies. And I thought, you know what? I've never used these, so let me use these. So this is from, all these are from Hot Off the Press, which is now Paper Wishes. And this one is words to say, hello, happy, love, and thanks. So I use the hello and the happy. Now, there are four of these, and I only use two, but I wanted to show them because I think they're all still available on Paper Wishes and they're reasonable. Um, it's all part of their fabulous folded cards line, and this one is a tag and a bag, so you get the bag, and then you can slip the tag in there. This one is like a mini folder, and so it's um, like four, four inches by five and a half folded, but there's that one. And then I use these final two, 
I use this one, which is the four folder cutting dies. And then I use this one, which is the peekaboo card cutting dies. So that's what I used. And none, I don't think I've ever used any of those. So um, the first one that I made is this one. And here's where I use the flowers and I just layered some of them up so that it has some depth and dimension to it and put the roll flower on top. The happy is, um, I think I put this one, yeah, this one is the one I use that white foam. I cut out the happy, then I cut out a solid color teal, and so it's dimensional also. Then here is the butterfly. So the um, polka dot paper is from Kingston Crafts, and what I did was... I just cut it out and see on this side, the polka dots are smaller. Then on the inside, I use the same teal paper as the happy for the flaps and it opens up like this. And then I have left it blank at this point because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It could be a birthday card or it could be an anniversary card for work or whatever. But, um, I'll stamp a message in there and probably decorate the insides in some kind of way also. But I just thought that was a handy little neat different way to do a card. So that's the first one. Then the second one is this one. And I, since I had the paper out, I just decided I would use up all the teal papers at once and be done with it. I've added those little felt flowers from Michael's Dollar Bin. With the hello, I cut it out three times and stacked it up, whereas on this happy, I used the foam on it. Anyway, I used that piece of Kingston paper, but then I also used the polka dot paper, but as you can see, I used the smaller side of the polka dot paper i use velcro again to close it so when you open it up this one opens out and then i have that's the polka dot paper then we have one of the pinwheel papers so on the inside you have two pockets and you could put little pictures in here put tags in here um you could put gift cards in there. You could also, I could have matted it and still might mat these at some point, depending on what I do with it. And so it's just a way you could put pictures here. So this could be a little folder, little photo wallet, whatever you want to use it for. But then on the other side, you can see what I did was I did paper every other one. So polka dot, pinwheel, polka dot, pinwheel. And then, like I said, on the inside, I will probably decorate it more later when I decide what I want to do with it. So it just folds back up and you close it. So those are my two projects for this month's Crack the Vault collab. And I really crack the Vault because I've had these dies for years and have never used them. I know I've had them at least five years, probably longer than that. So anyway, that's the purpose of this collaboration is to use your stuff. So you can always join in. There's a hashtag in the description box below. And that's all I have today. So thank you so much for watching. And you have a great and a very blessed day. Bye-bye.